The creation of a great TV show is like a well-oiled machine. It's made up of numerous moving parts that have to work together fluidly in order for the series to reach its full potential. And unfortunately, this harmony is never guaranteed. And from time to time, a moving part breaks. And with that in mind, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 TV shows that abandoned awesome ideas halfway through. Number 10, Marsha's Game Plan, Succession. Succession's recently ended four-season run is an absolute storytelling masterpiece, weaving together a huge ensemble of characters that all have their own satisfying arcs, and where even initially unassuming players like Hugo and Carl can eventually become fan favourites due to their small but significant developments across the way. And that attention to the cast makes it all the stranger that one of season one's most mysterious and compelling characters, that being Logan Roy's wife Marsha, just drops off the face of the earth as the show progresses. Now, admittedly, this is far down the list because the writers do at least attempt to keep her a presence in the show, and smartly write around her dwindling role by showing that it's just a natural progression of her and Logan's marital troubles. But her minimal impact on the overall plot and arc of the series is strange because in the initial episode, she's very much set up as someone playing the game as much as anyone else. Despite not being directly involved with Waystar Royco, Marsha is positioned as having powerful sway over Logan, hidden motivations of her own, a son she wants to see succeed, and a mysterious past that the other kids are worried about. But sadly, she never became that real threat to the kids in the end, and this plotline just kind of fizzles out. Number 9, Libby's Past Lost. When she was introduced in the masterful second season of Lost, Libby instantly struck a chord with audiences. Initially a minor character before she assimilated into the main group, Libby's role soon became more prominent, and her past became a lingering question hovering over the show as it was revealed that she was once committed to the same psychiatric hospital as her new beau. Hurley. Her mysterious connection to Hurley was a source of much discussion online, particularly given the mystical twists of his tragic history, but Lost dramatically dropped the story when Libby was accidentally shot dead by a desperate Michael. With Libby's death, so died her story, which was shaping up to be an intriguing chapter in Lost's twisty melodrama. The series dropped many storylines throughout its run, but this one might honestly be the most irritating as she deserved so much more. Number 8, Abed's Girlfriend, Community. Like Lost, Community liked to set stories up and then drop them. Case in point, Professor Slater, who disappeared from the show after the first season's maddening Will They Won't They cliffhanger. But nothing was ever stranger than when Brie Larson landed on campus, started dating Abed, and then just vanished. Though Abed and Rachel's relationship was certainly set up to be a major story going forward, after a couple of episodes Larson stopped showing up and odder still, Rachel wasn't even mentioned once she left. Now it's clear why Larson, being an Oscar winner and MCU star, left the series, but the lack of explanation or tact surrounding her confounding and anticlimactic disappearance still doesn't quite sit right when you revisit Community's fifth season. I mean, who knows what kind of wacky shenanigans she and Abed could have gotten up to. Number 7, Palpatine has other uses for Maul, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Setting up several major cliffhangers in its 5th and 6th seasons, The Clone Wars met an unsatisfactory, though thankfully short-lived, end during its otherwise epic 6th season, leaving many promising plot threads unfinished. The biggest of these maddening cliffhangers came by way of a resurfaced Maul, who, after taking over control of Mandalore and amassing an army, was hunted down by his former master, future Emperor Palpatine, and was defeated in an epic duel which also claimed the life of his brutish brother. Maul is left frightened and trapped, but Palpatine doesn't kill him, instead promising that he has, quote, other plans for his former apprentice. It's a brilliant setup to big things, big things that tragically never came. Though this plotline was picked up in the tie-in comic book Son of Dathomir, the fact that it was never picked up in the mainline show is a serious disappointment, especially given how confusing it is to see Maul back in Mandalore again come the Clone Wars final season. Number 6, Oceanside, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead, like many of the shows on this list, dropped a lot of storylines and characters during its 11 season run on AMC. I mean, what the hell happened to Heath? But one of the biggest sources of frustration for fans, especially the comic book fans, came by way of the community Oceanside. Despite playing a major role in the All Out War arc of season 7 and 8, and then joining the other larger communities in a new coalition following Negan's defeat, it became slightly odd and impossible to ignore the fact that Oceanside were just written out of the series and then never really was seen or mentioned again. This means that promising characters were never given the screen time they probably deserved, and Oceanside was left out of the show's late.
later action. Even when they came back in the final season, their fate was left oddly ambiguous. Hell, it got so bad that whenever an actor wanted time away from the show, the writers could just drop them and say they'd been at Oceanside for a little bit because they so rarely showed that community on screen. Number 5. Nick Embraces Aikido Fear the Walking Dead the Walking Dead isn't the only show to have trouble knowing a good thing when it slapped them in the face. It's much more maddening and inconsistent spin-off, Fear the Walking Dead, had wasted opportunities in abundance. And the most notable of these was the intriguing development of fan favourite Nick Clark, a former addict turned survivor who had been through his fair share of hardships, but seemed poised for a slightly better and more peaceful future when he met The Walking Dead's Morgan Jones, who introduced him to his entire philosophy. That philosophy was I Aikido, a pacifist martial art that allowed Morgan to become a better, more hopeful soul. Something it could have done for the once chaotic Nick. Unfortunately though, Nick is unceremoniously killed off before he can accept this new chapter in his life, and once he was gone, the show kinda lost its heart, and certainly its most promising character. Number 4. Peter Has Always Been the Alpha, Team Wolf Every show needs someone like Peter Hale, the renegade anti-hero whose opportunism and deceit often left their true intentions thrillingly in the dark, until the series finally delivers a mean twist and embraces their true nature. On Teen Wolf, Peter's big reveal was that, despite working with his nephew Derek and former foes Scott, Styles, and Lydia, he wanted to be the alpha werewolf that he had been in the first season. Season 4 explores his endgame as he clashes with his on and off allies and eventually finds himself locked up in an insane insane asylum. Now this could have been the end of Peter's story, a big bad being beaten, locked away, you know, the end. But it wasn't. He returns in the show's final season, the same sarcastic deviant that he'd always been, but his plans for killing Scott and regaining his power were just nowhere to be seen. By the final episode, it's implied that he's part of the main gang, a genuine ally whose past behaviour and lust for power has been forgotten about with any real development. Number 3. Captain Holt's Demotion, Brooklyn Nine-Nine in the penultimate season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the stoic Captain Raymond Holt was demoted to a beat cop and forced to serve on the streets rather than behind a desk. Hilarity should have ensued, but it didn't. Though there are some sparks of brilliance, including his strained relationship with Jake, Holt's demotion barely sticks around, and within just a handful of episodes, he's back leading the Nine-Nine and his demotion is simply never mentioned again, despite lasting for an entire year. Given how much this new job clashes with Holt's straight-laced political aspirations, forcing him to work closely with former subordinates who are now his superiors, the fact is the captain really should have been given more time on the street, working cases, and hilariously crushing his ego. Perhaps if season 7 had been given more episodes to spread out its stories, we would have seen more Officer Holt, but alas, we weren't so lucky. Number 2. Herb the Simpson, The Simpsons the Simpsons has always thrived in spite of, more aptly because of, its lack of continuity. But even so, this narrative device has had its drawbacks from time to time. Case in point, the introduction of Homer's wealthy car manufacturing half-brother Herb, who connects with The Simpsons and has his career destroyed by an ill-advised car design courtesy of his estranged sibling. He leaves town in a rage, briefly returns to regain his fortune, and has only been briefly seen once since. And considering that Herb's debut episode is often correct, Correctly regarded as one of The Simpsons' greatest, and he was played by a fully committed Danny DeVito, it's a shame that The Lost Simpson was never giving a recurring slot on the series akin to Sideshow Bob. I mean, honestly, who wouldn't want Danny DeVito to run into Springfield every year or two to butt heads with Homer, Bart, and everyone else? It's a missed opportunity, to say the least. Number 1. Oz Masters His Power, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Buffy the Vampire Slayer often left plotlines unfinished or rushed so various characters could be written off the show, and never was that more obvious than with Willow's monosyllabic rocker boyfriend, Oz. A werewolf unable to fully contend with his power, Oz leaves town during the show's fourth season in hopes of finding a way to control the beast inside him. And even though he does, he's then removed from the show for good when Willow falls in love with fellow Wicca Tara. Now considering Oz's popularity and the potential of his powerful urges, it's very hard to picture a world world in which his inner turmoil wouldn't have been a compelling plotline, beautifully complementing Buffy's conflict over her own life-altering powers and Willow's growth into a powerful witch. But then again, if he had stuck around, we probably wouldn't have got Willow and Tara's groundbreaking relationship, so hey, it's not all bad. 
So, that's our list. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. What did you think about these dropped plot lines? And are there any other ones that you think were worthy of inclusion? Let me know, and while you're down there, if you could, please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.